Okay, here we go. What I've got is I've got um, in my diagram, I'm going to follow my flow chart, but I'm going to be looking at this picture. My di diagram tells me what to do, but in my flow chart, in my, uh, in my picture, I've got uh, buckets here. But let's, we've got bucket A, B, C, and bucket X. And what I want to do is I want to put um, oranges in each one of these buckets, representative of what my flow chart tells me to do. Well, before we get everything cranked up, what we've got to do is we've got to put in the buckets the appropriate number of, of items that, that are specified. So we're going to put oranges in bucket A to start with. And um, we can think about, again, we can think about uh, A is a, a variable, B is a variable, C is a variable, and X is a variable. And what we want to do is see that we can, uh, this will help us keep up with what's going on in those variables. Or we could also look them at, look at those as, as our buckets. So we're going to look at bucket A. And bucket A starts out with eight oranges. So what we want to do is we want to get eight oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we want to do is put those oranges inside of bucket A. So we're, we're dropping them in. They're inside bucket A. And the next thing we're going to do in bucket B, we're going to put five. One, two, three, four, five. Five in bucket B. Now, we want to make sure that they're actually in there, so I'm going to slide it over a little bit. How's that? Okay, so we've got eight in A, five in B, and then in C, I want to put three. So I'm going to take one, two, three. I'm going to drop them in C. And what about in X? X, um, it tells us, based on our instructions to start with, that X, there's nothing in X. Okay? All right. So we are ready to go now. Now, at this point, I am ready to follow my instructions of the flow chart. And my flow chart is my picture. That tells me what to do. And this is kind of how, how we set up a program. It tells we're, we're telling the program. And, and we're what we're trying to do is reflect something that happens in real life. And real life, we're saying, all right, well, these buckets have oranges in them, and something's going to cause the oranges to flow in, and something's going to cause them to flow out. So what I want to do is I come down from the start, and the start says, is A greater than B? So what I'm actually looking at here is A greater than B, and I can draw a, a, a circle around them. Let's say I draw a circle around A greater than B. What I'm trying to do is look at bucket A and bucket B, and I use the greater than symbol like this, is, is A greater than B? And what I want to do is I want to compare that, and I say, well, you know, uh, A's got a whole lot more in it than B. So, yes, A is, um, A is greater than B. So with that, I've kind of got that in my mind, and A is greater than B, and the answer to that question is yes. And my, when I get a yes, that means I go to the right in my flow chart. So with that, I go to the right, and then it says, add 5 to B. Well, here's, here's B. Here's B. And I want to add 5 to B. Well, five, B already has 5 in it, so I'm going to come down here with my uh, oranges, and I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to take 5 more, and I'm going to put them right in here with, um, with the rest of what's in bucket B. So now I can look at... Um, I can look at bucket B, and I've got a bunch in there. I've got 10 in there. All right. Now, with that, I'm going to take the focus off of B, and I'm going to go back to my flowchart. And it says, now, the next thing in my flowchart comes down. It says B greater than C. So at this point, what I'm looking at is I'm comparing these two. So with, with B greater than C is what I'm looking at. And I can say, well, B definitely has more in it than C. So that would be yes. So again, I'm going to go to the right. So I go to the right, and I follow the flow chart down, and it says A equal B minus C. All right, now what about B greater than C? Well, I'm dropping that now. I'm done with that part. It just told me to. I made a decision. So I'm now going down here, and it says A is equal to B minus C. Now, i got to think about that a minute. How in the world... Do I, do I do that? Well, I'm, I'm looking at A. All right, I'm looking at A, and I'm saying I want it to change. But I want it to change based on what's in B minus C. All right, so B has in it 10 oranges. 
and C has in it three oranges. So if I took 10 oranges minus three oranges, that leaves me seven oranges. And that's what I want to be to remain in A. In a. So A has in it eight oranges at this point. So what I need to do is I need to reduce A by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to A, and I'm going to take one of these oranges out, and I'm going to put it back down here. You could throw it away or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just changing what's in bucket A. Now in A, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm ready to go on. So that finished at that point. So now my bucket's got seven in A, I got 10 in B, I've got three in C, and I still have zero in X. All right, so I go forward, and the next says, is B greater than five? Well, I don't know where the five came from. Don't really care. Got to follow the flow chart. So B, I'm, I'm focusing on, on B here. Let's get rid of these. Focusing on B. B has 10 in it right now. And it, is that greater than five? Well, yes, it is. It is. So again, I need to go to the right. I've answered that decision. I go to the right, and it now says add three to X. So I'm down here. And I'm saying, all right, I want to add, it just tells me add 3 to X. So I can just go pick up 3. 1, 2, 3, put them in X, and X is ready to go. So I followed that instruction. I follow my flow chart down, and lo and behold, I'm ready to go out the exit. And at that point, I'm pretty much done. So if I make my comparison, and I look at everything, then I can identify that... First of all, all right, let's get me a pen. All right, A is 7. B is 10. C is 3. And X is 3. All right, now let's go check our uh, solution guide on that first example and see if that is, in fact, what we should get. A 7 for A, a 10 for B a 3 for C, and a 3 for X. That's it. We have followed all the way through and um, got found the right answers, and we used the flow chart, we used the variables, and we used buckets to help represent what is actually going on. In a real world, those buckets could be real things. They could be, uh, could be inventory items that are out there. We're trying to determine how many items to pull out of inventory based on what our customer says. It could be um, um, accounting problems. It could be trying to figure out how to take things out of equations, out, out of the financial statement in, um, in an accounting pro problem. It could be whatever. But what we've got to do as we're getting ready to learn how to program is we've got to learn how do we draw pictures and how do these pictures tell us what to do when we're going to prepare to write a program. And I hope that's going to work for you. So anyway, this gets us started.